Dr. Sullivan, can you tell me a little bit more about how and when you consider the use of hypomethylating agents? The vast majority of MDS patients at some point during their treatment course will have received these agents. So again, this is azacitidine or decidabine. Again, you know, one way I like to tell patients for how it works is sort of turns on genes that have gone to sleep to kind of kill these cancer cells uh, from within. The azacitidine is most commonly given as an injection on either a five-day schedule for lower-risk patients or a seven-day schedule for higher-risk patients, meaning five days in a row or seven days in a row. It is okay to skip the weekend if needed, which is often uh, done in the community, and this is given on uh, monthly cycles. As far as side effects that we commonly see, uh, patients can have bruising um, or what we call hematomas in their belly or wherever the injections are given. If those are very prominent, we do have the ability to change those to an IV injection. Um, other than that, the most common side effect that we see is constipation. So we actually typically will talk about with our patients about having a bowel regimen, particularly the week of therapy, but potentially throughout the entire uh, cycle. And similar to lenalidomide and other therapies, it's very common for the patient's blood counts to drop lower, particularly somewhere between one and two weeks out, they will hit their lowest blood counts, and they may actually require more transfusions over the first several cycles. The other item that I think is important is that these drugs do not work quickly. Um, and they often can take up to four to six months of therapy before we can truly say if it is working or not. In general, about half of patients will have an improvement of their blood counts with somewhere close to 20 or maybe 30% of patients being able to achieve a complete remission.